But I have no idea. Yeah, you yeah, have like lipstick all over. Yeah, uh, mm, mm, mm. Mm. Can it? Yeah. Is it done? Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope 2018 is already treating you guys well. Because I think it's treating us well already, right? <sighs> it's been amazing six days. Six days. <laughs> Literally nothing happened. Well, it was my mom's birthday yesterday. That, so, that was yeah. nice. Yeah, I think it has been amazing yes. six days so far. So yeah. we hope you guys also have an amazing... Keep up the spirit. Yeah. 2018, guys. We should keep it up. Uh, so we decided to um, do a Q&A since we've gotten a tremendous amount of followers the last few, the last month. And we thought it's a good start to start the year with a Q&A so you guys can get to know us better. That is like the main reason of this video. So I asked our Instagram followers to send us some questions and you guys went all in. I have 74 questions. It's going to be a long ass video. Guys. Well, obviously, I think <laughs> obviously there are some questions that are like similar or basically the same. Sure. So we're just going to like see what questions we've answered and what questions we need to be answered. So uh, we're not going to answer each, every question because we've done a previous Q&A in the past. I'm going to link this Q&A below so you can go check them out if in case we didn't answer your question. That makes sense. Yeah. So let's... Better get started. Get started. The first question is, how many kids do you plan to have? Jump right in. Jump right in. Jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, for me personally, when I grow up, I was thought like I want a whole basketball team. You know, <laughs> like a whole bunch of them. Now I see how much work it is. Um, I'm, I'm rethinking it. It's it's a it's a blessing, but I, anything anything two or three will be fine with me. Yeah, let's 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 deal with Zuri. Zuri is like <laughs> Zuri is yeah. an handful right now, so we have to see. But definitely, we will we will go for a second. But you know, you never know. Maybe you know, if things go smooth and everything along the way, we decide to do more and take or we get twins or triplets. I mean, it's not in our hands; it's in God's it's hands. God's right? hands, yeah. But definitely, we want another. But we want, yeah, we want another uh, baby yeah. for sure. Giuseppe, where are you from in Italy? And okay, have you been? Have you been to Italy, or will you plan to go for a visit soon? So, where are you from? So, I actually was born in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. but my mom she's from Italy, and she was born in a little town called Porto Ercole, in Tuscany. Beautiful place, go there. And, um, she's been there, yeah. I, th yeah. I, I, I took her to Italy. Uh, 2015. To, there's a video on it probably somewhere on our channel. No, on my main channel. I'm on going her to main link, channel. I'm going to link okay. It. So um, I, I proposed to her in Italy. Italy. So I got this ring in Italy. Yeah, guys. so definitely I've won. Uh, so yeah, I've been there. Yeah. And are we planning to visit soon? Yes, we're definitely bringing. We are. We are bringing Zuri to Italy. To the beach in July. <laughs> Is in June or July? June. In June. So yeah. we're going. We're going to Italy in June. So for you guys, wedding. You guys are going to see that vlog when that time comes. Yes. I'd like to know how did your parents felt when you told them about your now husband? So that's question to me mm. and I guess you guys mean because of his, his, his skin color or I guess that's why they're asking it's it's funny because I know like 80% of my subscribers are from the United States and their color or race is a big topic and it's, it's, it's such a significant um, it's bigger than it's here, bigger than here. Yeah. and where I where my family we are very open like my mother was very open to me dating out of my race there was nothing there was not like oh you're not allowed to date a white guy because blah 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 blah. it was never an issue in my family so when i told my mom that this was my boyfriend then it wasn't a big deal because it's normal here in, in the netherlands like we have so many cultures and so many races in this country that 
it nobody turns their head nobody, on the streets. Nobody will look at you a certain way if they see us walking on the street. Especially Amsterdam, guys. Amsterdam is one big, big mixture, mixture of cultures. Of you see culture. everything. Yeah. There's nobody who's going to look at you because we're a couple. No one is. No one. No, no. one cares. So no. yeah, it wasn't a big deal at all for my family. I didn't know that he was the one. How did you know? That's a question. How do you? Know? How do you know? You just know, man. I guess you just know but that, I feel like we said it in a previous video like for us it just it was just like it is I it felt worked. it <laughs> it worked everything took it we took our time if you don't know about our story I'm going to link the how we met video below then you can really understand our relationship and the foundation and then you kind of know that understand us as a couple so yeah we just I just knew at that point I knew and he knew and things just flew into place you know mm. <laughs> asking if it was love at first sight or otherwise no it was otherwise Definitely it was not. like maybe on the love at 25th sight or something <laughs> no <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> no no guys i mean i understand the question love at 20 <laughs> wow seriously <laughs> this is a joke no, I, I mean like uh, the click needs to be there and the click is there from the beginning or not. So uh, what does love at first? I mean, I think love is a big word because nobody loves each other at first sight. I think it does happen. Some you people. like somebody at first sight, but love, what is love? Love is need, Love is like caring for somebody. Yeah, know? I guess. Well, the first time you met me, were you loving me like you love me now? No, obviously the well, first more... First you need to like each other and then you start loving each other, right? That's yeah. my opinion. So well, definitely, like, at, like at first sight, yeah, I, I like him when I saw her. I didn't like him at first sight. I ignored him like, in fact, go go and check the How We Met video. You see the whole story. There's no need to repeat it. She was all over me. Whatever, that never happened. Like, like he's, she talked, was me. Like, he's <laughs> talked to me for like We went to the and movies, months, first and dates, and, and she was like all oh, hugging me, kissing me on the first date. I was like, girl, take it easy. Bye bye. She was all over me. Stop, and then, then, stop, stop it. And since then, she's just been like stalking me and everything. Let the video <laughs> below speak for itself. Go check the How We Met video, guys. You guys are going to hear the entire story. So let yourself be, be, be like blabbing. How do you feel for the first time going to see your husband's parents? Well. Oh, that's for both of us. That yeah. Okay, or, or but husband's parents. Husband's parents. So when when I brought when, you, when you brought to my mom. to your mom, uh, yeah, were you I, scared? I was I was quite scared. Obviously, like you've only known him, and now you need to see like meet his family. But Josepha's mother is like she's the sweetest. You guys already see how amazing she is in our vlog. Like she was so nice to me. She like treated me as if she already knew me for years and i was the one that was i'm like yeah she was more tense i was <laughs> so intense i was so tense but it was it was it was such a welcoming environment that it wasn't it didn't take long for me to feel at home so yeah but definitely i was really really nervous yeah Aww. and you I met his is in difficult because he met my entire clown at once. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember. Because I met was, just his mother. Yeah, for me it was. I, I remember I had to go to her mom's place so my, because there was like a dinner a party or dinner Christmas. party. I think it was a Christmas was dinner. A that Christmas, was the first time. But there was family. like a Christmas thing with her family. That means it's not only her mom. It was the it entire was, crew. Like, everybody was there, and I was. I came there and I was sitting on the dinner table and everybody just looking at me. Like, Who is this white guy? Who is this? So who are you? Hmm. And I was sitting there like, hmm. <laughs> it was a little awkward, but uh, but also very nice people. So they make me feel comfortable as well. Yeah. And she, her mom is great as well. You know, she's always treated me uh, with big respect, and and, and and I love the way her mom calls me. Every, her mom has a special name for me. And big just, son. She calls me big son. So you know that's so cool. That's so cool, guys. I love that. So. Yes, yeah, so I think you will move to the US. Move. If we move, it will it it, it will be work wise. Yeah. You know, if for me, it will probably be like maybe if I get an opportunity working for a company, and they give me the opportunity to go to the US, I would love to do it for a year or two years. Yeah, temporary. Temporary, no, definitely. Permanent. I think I think US will be very cool. 
Um, definitely, I haven't visited yet, so I definitely want to visit New York and everything. We have a plan for for US. We will be visiting you guys, but yeah, like moving there permanently. Moving there permanently. It's not in the plans, but you never know. You know. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel. I wouldn't feel. It's quite far. Yeah, I from know. Everybody from we my, know. Yeah, it's just so far away and. It's such a different culture and different. Well, culture is not like mindset the way things are. I just feel a lot of things in with the guns and the race and the. It's just a lot. There's a lot that we are not used to. That I feel like if we move, it's just gonna be like a huge, a huge different. Cultural impact. Yeah, right? a yeah, huge yeah. one. And then I already like I already had like a huge move of my life, and it took me literally five years to like get used to this place if you guys don't know i moved here when i was 17. so for me to like it wasn't like the best experience but now obviously i'm happy with my husband and my child but i wouldn't want to like do that again to myself you know if that makes sense yeah you know i, I haven't yeah. had a big move like that in my life i've always lived in holland so um for me i don't i cannot really Think about yeah. what a big impact it can have, but she speaks from experience. So. Yeah, it, it it does have an impact on you. So n next question is: Were you born outside Nigeria? So like I said, I was born in Nigeria. I lived in Nigeria till I was seventeen. I moved to the Netherlands when I was seventeen years old. So how are you going to include her in your YouTube? In I mean, anything go is anything going to change? So how are we going to incorporate Zuri into our YouTube? Um. What do you think? How are we going to incorporate? I think we're just going to do what we do best. Like, well, the channel is called Meet the Angles. It's Meet the Angles, and she's, she's, and she's a part of, yeah, she's she's part of us, so yeah. That's, she's definitely that's, going to be included in our yeah. vlogs. Uh, all the trips we're going to make, she's going to be there. She's going to be there. Like We've shown the whole process from the beginning. There's yeah. no way, there's no need for us to be like changing like all of a sudden not showing her face on the vlog anymore. Obviously, we have boundaries. I'm not going to like put a camera on my baby's face when she's crying just to show you guys that she like mm, no. no or when she goes to, to no I'm, it's not gonna happen I'm going to vlog like normal things just the yeah. way uh, like we've always done so yes definitely she will be you'll be seeing a lot of zero I think she's um, literally gonna take over this vlog anyway so, so and maybe for your main channel she's gonna be inspire a little bit of a baby line yeah definitely definitely Zuri is going to be my little miss for the next year that is like seriously we have so much plan and stuff for mother and daughter things but head on to my main channel to hear a lot about it because I'm going to put all the links to my main channel below so you guys can go check that out Giuseppe helping out with the baby absolutely not not doing anything he's doing nothing nothing literally nothing I have my own room I, I just don't want to see them of course not of course not of course it's helping like it's, it's as big, much as I can. As guys. much as you can. He's a dude. He's a man. So it's definitely different. Like the extent of how much he can help me, but he is helping. Yeah, yeah. In like some ways, it, so. it, I must say that the most weight on taking care of baby falls on the mother, because of the breastfeeding and everything. But everything around it, I'm trying to do, trying to help out around it. So directly caring for her, she does a little bit more. But uh, the other but thing, the other that thing I'm, around it, I, I'm, I'm more taking care of that, so she can focus on taking care of the baby. Yeah. So in that state, he is helping a lot. All your thoughts on raising an interracial child? First of all, I don't want to like label my child. Agree. That's for us not like. She's just. She's just. Just a normal child. Just a normal child. Just like other race are gonna have kids, and then no. She's a European. She's an European. She's an African. She she's, she's just, a world citizen. Man. Yeah, she's just Zuri, and yeah. I don't want to labor her. The thing is that, we, like I said, we don't have a problem. It's not a problem. We don't see us like a big label on our head, all oh, interracial, and it's not. There's there, there's not different. She's not different than your cousins that are like hundred percent Dutch or something. So. We're not planning to like raise She's our She's gonna own. be treated the same yeah, way, 100%. 100%. Like, we don't have a specific way of going to treat, like, raise our because no. she's, she's a missed, uh, missed child. So, no, we don't, we're not having a that plan in mind. That's it. Um, what language does Zuri recognize already? Well, she's seven weeks, so <laughs> yeah, she's not I really. 
She's not really analyzing our. Uh, well, I speak mostly English to her. His mother speaks mostly Italian to her. I'm trying to speak Dutch, otherwise and she won't speak any he, Dutch. He's trying to speak in Dutch to her. So my mom and my mom speaks my language to her. So basically, my child is like. Quadrilingual. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how she's like. She's gonna do. She, she's gonna know a lot of languages. Yeah. So we just like teaching teaching her as much as we can because you know kids are like sponge and want her to like absorb as much as possible right now because she's gonna like it's gonna come in handy when she's grown when she's able to speak four languages. So yeah. Yeah. We teach. We raising her up in all the languages that we speak. So how old are you guys? I am twenty eight and I'm thirty eight and he's thirty four. <laughs> Whatever. You guys are so beautiful. My question is, what's the meaning of Zuri? Meaning of Zuri means beautiful. That's the meaning of Zuri. Your favorite YouTubers? Do you connect with any of them? And why are you? And why are they your favorite YouTubers? Well, you can answer that. YouTubers, favorite YouTubers. You guys know it's Jack and Jane because Jack and Jane is my girl, <laughs> and Jack is my boy. <laughs> So those are like one of my favorite um, YouTubers apart from them. I love Patricia and Mike. I love Nikki and Jamie. I love Adana and, and David. I love... Who else do I love? I love Sissy and me. She's like a Nigerian food blogger. I love Is My Ray Ray. So I, I, I do like... I do have a lot of people Rachel. that I... Oh, I almost forgot my girl. I love Rachel and Henrik. Why, why, how did I forget them? I love those. I love them so much. I love who else? I'm, I know I'm missing one person. I love Abby and 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 Tom. Is it Abby and Tom. Why am I forgetting their name? Oh my God, Abby is gonna kill me. Oh, that I uh, that I really like watch constantly, and I love them because they're like similar. I just love their character. I love the vibe. I'm all about positive vibe, and they like exude those vibes. So that's the reason why I love them. I have three, but nobody's interested. <laughs> I know, I know his favorite. You guys know what Joseph is into, what he watched apart from our videos. No, they don't care. It's all about you. No. It's all about you. It's okay. I'm just here for decoration. I'm sorry. I'm just background. Sorry. I'm just background. It's okay. He's such a drama queen. <laughs> okay, tell them what your favorite YouTubers are. Okay, you tell them. Jeremy Fragrance. Who um, else? Yeah. And then Alpha Male. Alpha Male. And Athlean. Uh, so those are like the three people, three guys he watches. Giuseppe is into perfume, fitness, health, and those kind of things. So yeah. Why your mom doesn't appear regularly on your videos? Because Giuseppe's mom appears both on your vlog and all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a question. It's that is true. question. So basically, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, guys. If you guys don't know, Giuseppe, Giuseppe's mom lives with us, so obviously that's why you see her a lot in the video. My mom doesn't live in the city; she lives like two hours away, so we cannot, we, we don't get to see her that much, like as much as we see Giuseppe's uh, mom. That's why yeah. you see her mom is traveling a lot. She travels a lot. She's she's like always out of the country. So yes, but she has been in the vlog, few vlogs. Like if you watch Meet My Family vlog, she's in there. Um, my but we'll try to incorporate baby child vlog yeah. gender reveal vlog yeah. for those of you who haven't seen my mom I'm going to link those videos so you guys can see my mom but it's also like our goal to include my family more this year on our channel so we're working on that as well <laughs> how did you end up living in the Netherlands Giuseppe where were you born where did you grow up and how did you end up in the Netherlands okay you've kind of answered that as I was well. born here I was born here my mother my mother lived here, so I kind of relocated to be with my mother. So that's how I ended up here, living in the Netherlands. So beautiful couple. My question is, of Vuki and Joseph, have you ever did, have, Joseph? My question is, of Vuki and Joseph, have you ever did any modeling? <laughs> what are your occupations? Modeling for what? As in? We're way too short. We're way, We're too, way too short. We're way too fat <laughs> modeling. <laughs> We, we cannot model. <laughs> no, we didn't do any modeling. No, we don't. What do are our that. occupations? Occupation. I'm a, I'm a designer slash content creator. So that's what I do. And you are? I work in the office, IT. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need you two to stop looking adorable. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sewing channel on YouTube. Do you have a website which you sell the clothes you make? 
oh that's so nice well yes guys i do have a main channel most of you guys don't know which is quite crazy because i thought i've mentioned it already on this channel i have a main channel i'm going to put the link below so you guys can go check it out i make clothes i currently don't have a website i do mostly custom made people come to me and i make something but it is the plan this year to really like work on my brand and making a website is one of those goals that i want to achieve in the this year so when that is ready i will let you guys know that's it we did skip a few questions because we've answered we've answered uh we've answered a lot of them in the previous q a as well so sorry if we, get, if we didn't answer your question we basically answered them in the previous one so yes it's quite uh it's ap quite appropriate a, questions really no you guys appropriate questions yeah there was no inappropriate questions i guess so yeah. thank you guys we have Most like guys scared for like inappropriate we questions. have decent subscribers you guys are awesome so you guys are great yeah so that's it we hope you guys have gotten a little bit insight into our relationship or into our per into us as a couple we hope to um continue to inform you guys if there's any new thing that comes up that you guys need to know or else do another q a and kind of answer those questions as well so yes that's it we hope um to continue i'm excited for 2018 we have so many nice things and stuff for you guys yeah there's some very nice videos coming nice ideas stay tuned so yeah but anyways thank you guys so so much we have to go thank you make sure to like share comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to turn on your notification don't forget and we will see you guys in the next video bye Peace.